na nakita ninyo kanina is actually a glimpse of what I do. And business namin is printing. So, ito yung kanina. So, please do subscribe. Okay? So, the video that I'll be doing today is doing today is so paano mag-print ng isang big picture as big as A3 size or bigger than A3 size using a regular printer. What I mean by regular printer is yung nakaka-print lang ng A4, ng short bond paper, ng long paper, yung standard na ginagamit natin. So, paano nga ba makaka-print ng ganito? As big as this, look at my baby, as big as this, start using a regular paper. So before we begin, please, ching! Turn your back. So, ito yung picture na gusto kong i-print. This is my baby on her first birthday, last September 27. And, wala kaming time para mag uh, pa photoshoot sa professional kasi yun nga, pandemic and ayoko lumabas uh, I also did a vlog about kung paano kami nag-prepare and how we celebrated her birthday, please do watch that as well and so yung collage, kinawa ko siya sa PixArt which is for sure familiar kayo the application that we need in our computer is actually Excel Okay, so with this, you just need to transfer the picture. Ako, I just have to drag and diretso na siya. Wow, kung hindi kayo nakaka-drag, tapos nakakalagay sa Excel, you can always use the file, open, and then export the picture. Okay, so just drag the picture all through sa pinaka-taas, which is yung column yung column A and yung row 1. So, isagad nyo lang siya doon. Pilitan natin yung ano. Pwede nyo ulitan here para medyo mas makita ninyo kasi medyo malaki yung picture na gamit ko. Okay. So, i-zoom out lang natin. Yung mga lines na to na nakikita ninyo, this is actually my guide kung ilang A4 ang magagamit ko. Okay. So, the picture, meron na kasi akong specific size. The biggest na usual na piniprint natin is 11 by 16. Pero, with me kasi, meron akong specific na size kasi uh, meron na kaming frame. Okay? So, may, if may frame kayo, you can always resize this. Go to picture format. This one. Picture format. Then, sa pinaka-side, meron mga sizes in inch. Okay? So, ako ito customize ko sa kasi ito naka 30 by 30. So, medyo malaki siya at so, you just have to unclick this, uncheck this one. Then, you do the kung anong size ng frame na gagamitin ninyo. With, with me, it's so 18 sa height. Sorry. 18 by 11 sa height. Tapos 16 by 92 with the width. So, the standard of A3 is actually 11 by 16. Pero since may frame na kami, Ito yung gamit ko. Sorry, balik tad. Ngayon yung yung nag-picture mali. <laughs> so, it's actually 16. The other way around. Kaya, pick. Is na kailangan ko. So, this is 16 by 92 and 18. Once na resize na po ninyo, go ahead and check kung ilan ang magagamit ninyo na paper by simply doing the control P. So, here, makikita ninyo na I'll be using 6 papers. A total of 6 papers. Kasi makakat po siya according sa given na line na binigay. See? So, adjust nyo na lang yung mga settings ng printer ninyo and all. So, ako I'll be using a photo paper. Okay, so actually you can use a paper, the regular paper na A4. But for me, I'll be using a photo paper. Mas gusto kong gamitin yung photo paper kasi mas feeling ko, mas matagal yung quality. Pero kung depende rin sa frame na gamit ninyo, kung okay naman yung frame na gamit ninyo, you can also use paper. Kasi yung ibang 
pictures ko dito na naka-frame na, I only used the regular paper. Lalo na kung good quality naman yung uh, printer ninyo, you can use the regular paper. So, I'll be needing six sheets of paper. So, once na-set na ninyo lahat, pati yung settings ng printer ninyo, I'll be using the glossy kasi uh, I'll be printing it on a uh, photo paper. But you can also use a plain. Ewan ko kung, and depende sa computer na gagamitin ninyo. I'm using Epson. So, kung plain paper lang, you can use the high quality one. Since I'm using uh, photo paper, I'll be using the premium glossy and the best quality. Medyo matagal yung printing. Kaya, if forward na lang natin. Okay, just double check kung talagang 6 lang siya. Okay, so let's begin. This is the printer that I'm going to use. I'm using an Epson. So, I'm at my workstation. Kaya medyo magulo. Okay, so the paper is loaded already. Settings is set up na. Tapos... We will just do the printing. Let's begin. Ayan. So, next start na siya mag-print. A few minutes later. One eternity later. So, I'm done with printing all the pictures. You see, it took me 30 to 40 minutes to print all 6 pictures. Uh, kasi yung kinamit kong quality nga is yung best quality, which is talagang matagal siya. Pero depende pa rin yun sa printer na gamit niyo, which is the printer brand. Okay. So, with mine, 30 to 40 minutes. Pero the one I used kasi is, kagaya na sabi ko kanina, I used the photo paper. Pero if you're going to use the regular one, which is uh, yung copon band na ginagamit natin na ordinary, mga 5 to 10 minutes lang, okay na siya. Pero you also have to choose the high quality one kahit uh, regular na paper lang ang gagamitin niyo para for the best quality of picture. Okay? So, bago-bago natin ikakat siya, syempre i-arrange muna natin siya accordingly na parang puzzle lang kung saan dapat siya nakalagay. Para at least may idea lang muna kayo. Yan. So, ganyan ang kalalabasan niya. First, what you need to do is cut all the edges. Outside edges only. Okay? So, individual picture, huwag niyo munang ikakat to. Yung mga inside na part ng border, huwag niyo munang ikakat kasi you will be needing that later para sa pagdikit ninyo. Okay? So, nandito na po tayo para mag-start ng cutting. So, ang husband ko po ang in charge sa cutting kasi medyo mas familiar siya sa gagamitin. Um, we, meron kaming cutter kasi ginagamit namin sa business. Pero, actually, yung gunting, pwede naman. You just need to be careful and at the same time, dapat uh, hindi pa smado. <laughs> I mean, kasi syempre dapat straight talaga siya. Kasi ididikit-dikit natin siya. So, let's begin!
reason kaya wa, dapat hindi ninyo ikakat muna yung mga uh, inside border kasi yun po yung gagamitin ninyo para idikit yung dalawang pictures. Okay? So, pag na-estimate na ninyo lahat ng pictures, saka lang kayo magkakat kung ano yung mga kailangan ikat na border. Once nakat yun na yung inner border, you will see na yung isang border, hindi ko kinat kasi dun yung ididikit yung isang part of the picture, isang page ng picture. Kasi kung pareho ninyo ikakat, may hila pa kayo. May iba ang ginagawa, kinakat nila lahat ng pictures, tapos ititape nila sa likod, which is hindi ko nire-recommend kasi umaangat pa rin yung pictures on the long run. So, in terms of the pandikit naman, yung ordinary na glue lang ang ginagamit namin. Pero yung ganitong type, which is yung parang withdrawal or yung stick-on, kasi uh, mas, hindi siya masyadong messy compared kung gagamit ka ng Elmer's glue, which is tapos ang kapal pa nang lumalabas. So, medyo messy siya. Especially pag gumagamit po kayo ng cotton band paper lang, in the long run, nag, nagkakukulubot po siya. So, nakikita sa frame na kumukulubot siya, lalo na kung sobrang dami nang na-apply ninyo. So, ngayon, yung husband ko, nagka-cut lang siya ng parang square like sa mga edges, kasi para pumantay siya doon sa pagpatong sa ididikitan mo. Actually, if you're using a uh, copon band, hindi mo na kailangan gawin yun, kasi pag pinatong mo siya, hindi naman siya ganun kakapal. Pero with us kasi, since I use photo paper, medyo makapal po yung paper. So, kung pagpapatong-patong po natin siya, medyo mas magiging obvious siya masyado sa a frame. Kaya, ayun, kinakat, na, kinakat ng husband ko yung edges para at least kahit magpatong-patong, hindi siya masyado obvious. So, start na po niyang itikit yung mga perp pages. Just make sure po na naka-align po siya mismo sa katabi niya pong page. Kasi ayaw naman po ninyo na tiko, lalo na po kung may cut sa mukha, masyado na po siyang obvious at plain. na po yung kalalabasan multiple pages in one big picture so punta naman po tayo sa frame, itong frame po na to is existing na po namin to na frame kaya lang medyo luma na po and sobrang old na po nung, nung design kaya ito na po yung gagamitin namin, parang DIY na lang so nakita nyo nga dyan sa picture actually digalo po yan sa akin last March 30, 2005 pa So, chi-change ko na siya. Pero, of course, itatago ko yung picture.
back. So, nakita na ninyo yung procedure kung paano gumawa ng big picture using a regular printer. Diba? So, it's so easy. So, thank you sa aking husband for doing this. Pag sa mga malayo, lalo na if you're using glass, hindi na siya masobrang hindi na siya halata. Of course, pag nilapit, medyo makikita yung mga lines. Pero kung nakasabit naman siya sa frame, sobrang hindi na siya. Okay. So, I have made some already. Pero wala pa kaming frame. So, this is a frame, uh, larger than 8D size also. Or 31D. So, wala pa kaming frame. So, next time. So, ano pa yung hihintayin ninyo? Go ahead and print. Just follow the instructions. Then, you're good to go. So, sana nagustuhan ninyo yung topic for today. And, hindi pa nakasubscribe, please do subscribe. And, uh, please like and click the bell button para ma-notify kayo sa aking next video. So, bye for now.